Hi everyone, Billy here. It's been a long time. Um, I'm making a video about my first year of digital painting, digital drawing. Um, I was gonna make a shorter one and have it be like a 10 minute kind of Gen Z TikTok version where it's like, look at how bad I was, look at how good I was. But uh, I think I'm just, uh, well, I am. I'm just going to go through every single piece of digital art I made uh, in the first month and a half. Uh, sorry, not month and a half, year and a half. Um, it's not exactly a year, but um, whatever. I'm just going to get into it. Um, so I'd already been drawing for a couple months, I think, before I bought an iPad. And then this is most of this part so it's not it's not perfectly in order but um the first section is just like it's from september 2019 to the end of 2019 but it's you know it's, it's not in order because i i didn't do a good job keeping track of things and i spent like four hours yesterday just like scrounging around my computer for like various drawings anyway um this is a self-portrait and I'm a sex god, goes without saying. I don't know if I wrote that or if my brother wrote that, but there you go. Um, cool, I'm gonna keep it going to appease the Gen Zers. Um, so yeah, I got into drawing because I kind of just wanted something to do and something to get better at, I think, which is where I was at with my life. Um, and then also, I wanted to get into like making comics at the time because I used to be really into writing before um before this and I was like oh if only I, I had an artist who could like illustrate then I could uh make comics so kind of it was me wanting to do that um but as you'll see I kind of just get sucked into the whole trying to get better at it and um, this is a wasp I think this is definitely for a thing. This might be for like drawer box, that kind of vibe where I'm um, breaking stuff down just into like forms and shape. I didn't, obviously I didn't do a great job, but um, you know, it's a good thing to do. I still do it now and um, it just helps you start thinking in 3D. Um, this is me moving paper about, I think. This might be from uh, that Cynics video about how to draw faces from any angle because when I started I really wanted to draw faces but it was impossible um I'm not really sure if this is a good I I don't think this really helps you draw faces to be honest but um it, it does help it helped me again navigate 3d space which is like a big thing cool so this can be the beginning of me just cringing um but we've got to get through it I wanted to have my partner here for emotional support, but she's gone to go get some food. So I'm just going to have to cringe on my own. Anyway, I'm going to read this out. I, I, it makes it worse, but I'm going to anyway. It's, uh, actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just, I, I, I can't do it. I'm just going to, you can, you can make up your mind. Um, more hands. It's not my real signature, so definitely don't try and scam me. I feel like signatures aren't a big deal anymore. Anyway, um, but yeah, like I said, I've been drawing for a couple months, so I had some kind of drawing stuff down, but um, not really. A lot of this is just me getting used to Procreate, and um, yeah, I took one. The one good thing about doing little mini comics actually is that it it very quickly forced me to like have to engage with hands. Um, because it's very, I mean, I still do it, but it's, it's like a thing where you, um, it's easy to like move your characters or whatever into poses where they don't have hands or their hands are in their pockets or something. Um, because the hands are a little bit tricky, but they're, once you do them a bit, they they get a bit easier. Um, oh yeah, there's a lot of like me studying stuff. So like that, that drawing on the, this, this thing. Um, it's not me. That's from some comic that I can't remember what it's called. Um, this is for my brother at Crisposable. 
Um, I can't remember why he wanted this, but he wanted it for like a Instagram story or something. He asked me to do some drawing of him. Uh, and you can see you can see what I'm saying about the uh, the hands. <laughs> I, I, I you can hide them behind cameras. That's a that's a good tip. You can turn them into little crab hands and put them out of the way. There's there's lots of ways to hide your hands. Um, this is based on some kind of Spider-Man illustration. I think this is like I think it's just a Spider Gwen pose that I just like stole and then put his face on it. Um, anyway, yeah, this the, the the my first year. Oh, also, yeah, sorry. Um, so this was late, all late 2019. So I was 22 at the time. I kind of got into art as an adult. Um, and that's why I think this stuff, like, because I, I was super inspired by um, Cynix's, like, version of this, like his sketchbook tours, because, I don't know, it was harder for me to find people on the internet who got into art, like, as an adult, and it was it was nice to see, like, that he was terrible. Um, but, you know, like, this isn't too bad, but again, this is this is probably towards the end of 2019, this bit, and there's a lot of kind of tracing and a lot of, like, I don't know, it's not that great. Um... You can already see my whole hiding thing, not caring about lines too much. I think I, I, I mean, it becomes more apparent anyway. This is again, I think traced or something like this is, this is a character in a comic. Um, and I definitely couldn't paint this well. Like, not that this is an amazing painting, but this is better than I could do back then, for sure. Um, again, not my signature. Move on, move on. This is actually quite... I saw this earlier because I was going through them. This is actually quite... An, I like this painting. Um, this is of my, like, uh, what are they called? My lanyard at work at the time. Um, I think I was bored on, like, a lunch break or something. But, um, yeah, I actually really like this painting, to be honest. Like, I mean, it's not finished, but the... Uh, it's very simple and it's got just a nice nice vibe to it so go me that's like this is this will be the only time i say that about one of my paintings from this year um docs and everyone these are my two brothers and this is a nice photo that i think my girlfriend took of them and then there's quite a lot of this where i i just i mean i don't i didn't really know what to draw and this this will become more apparent as it goes on but I kind of just got into painting like for the hell of it, like, and it's still a problem to this day that I I kind of went into it with the mindset of just wanting to get better, and that was kind of my whole motivation for a while, and because of that I didn't really um do much stuff that I was passionate about, and if you learn anything from this, it's don't do that, cause it's it's like. It, it's just a mess um like i'm still kind of trying to undo the damage of of not really of, of purely focusing on like technical getting good technically rather than like any kind of getting good as an artist if that makes sense so i was just too focused on making art when i should have been thinking about what do i want to get out of this and what do i like about art and what kind of stuff do i want to draw like what am i passionate about and and working on that as a separate separate muscle um anyway but yeah i mean as you can see i just i just couldn't really draw um and i i th this came up a lot where i always want to draw stuff and then the the face is always the hardest part which i think is a is a thing like faces are just difficult um it's this is more apparent in my sketchbooks like my non-digital art but um I would just get distracted when figure drawing and just like try and figure out the face stuff um which ended up being something that i got really into actually later on so i guess that is i don't know it led somewhere in the end but um yeah faces is just very frustrating as a beginner because they're just so difficult and also i think it's because we spend so like our our brains are just so in tune with faces like we spend a lot of our like brain processing like identifying like emotions and stuff on people's faces so anything that looks slightly off just looks like really bad um compared to like i don't really 
know what an elbow looks like. So I could probably draw a bad elbow and it wouldn't be as obvious. Oh dear. Um, so yeah, this is me. I, was, I think I posted this on my Instagram at some point, but I've now deleted it. I've, I've got past this phase. It was a terrible phase. I'm just going to move on. <laughs> um, and then this is actually kind of the beginning of my other obsession along with faces which is just trying to learn how to paint in any kind of capacity i i really struggle with painting um and i really wanted to do it because i i felt like i understood it a little bit how how i should do it it was one of those things where like i just needed lots of time and kind of patience and i you know i learned how to paint in the end but um this is just like i don't know trying to draw form I guess and I've got these little arrows which I guess are the light sources um, and trying to make things just look a bit 3D um, the one on the right is like oh who is this from this is like some animator it might be like some spider-verse animator and then I don't know I think this is just a study isn't it and I've put a weird hat on because I didn't want to draw the hair I think that's what it is anyway Whoa, getting into Spoon Gene before I even knew about Spoon Gene. That's cool. Um, oh, this is cool. This is when I was first trying to figure out, like, I wanted to draw, like, my online avatar, if that makes sense. And then uh, this is from, what is this from? This uh, How to Make Comics or something book. Um, it's becoming clear to me that I, I should probably make a comic. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I started art. This is what I was passionate about. Anyway, sorry. Um, yeah, yeah, and then I, I like it's just very simple, and I guess I was trying to try and make a simplified version of myself, despite not knowing how to draw. So it looks like a scary man. More comics. Um, what was I even saying, man? I wish I had safe. Oh, something. Oh, I wish, man. I wish I had superhuman reactions something happens and a fly it looks like a fly i don't know what's happening i remember drawing this like at a bar actually why was i doing that i think i was waiting for a gig what was i waiting for i think i was waiting for a gig at some bar and then i like had this idea and wanted to like jot it down but you know i can't even i don't understand what this idea is anyway um this looks kind of good but this is actually from a Kind of, I forgot what it's called. Uh, if I remember, I'll try and like put pictures or links to the things because this this was actually useful. This was a good one. Um, I've done a lot of just like weird online courses, and, and this was this was a good one. This is just about like uh, how to use Procreate, and like th this is not my own comic. This is like he goes through like step by step. He's like, I'm gonna make a little comic, and he talks about like how to use layers for this multiply shadow or how to use layers I don't, I don't know but it just it was a good like it saved me a couple of hours of just like tinkering around learning what the various buttons did on procreate and i think it was worth the money actually i i, I thought it was good um and there's a bit more of it later so yeah i recommend whatever this was some people know what this is but it's, it's something to do with like how to use procreate oh dear this is uh my girlfriend <laughs> Sorry, uh, this room I remember this was actually so bad. Like she, she looks slightly better than this in real life. Um, not to brag or anything, but um, this room was so bad that I I drew this um when I was visiting my family, and then um, both my brothers for some reason started like we all started just drawing art, drawing her. Because th this was like so bad that, that we, I, I don't know what it was, but it's like, there's a couple more and they just get worse. Um, I, um, it was like we were roasting, not her, but like my terrible version of her. Um, anyway, maybe she'll look like this when she's old and then this will be me. Oh, what is this from? I remember this. This is from, oh, what is it called? It's like some online free digital painting resource um that i cannot remember what it's called 
and it wasn't mega useful. It's kind of like drawer box, so it go for drawer box if you want to do this kind of stuff. Um, but I didn't. I I know people really like drawer box, but I I uh, I I've tried it like twice, and I I it's I don't know. It, it is good. It's, it's like undeniably it's helpful because it help you learn like form and stuff. But I think it just has the trap of like kind of what I ended up doing, which is like getting into art for the wrong reasons. Like it teaches you some useful like form technical stuff, but the whole like draw a hundred boxes, like nobody wants to draw a hundred boxes, like it sucks. And then I think you're if you give that to a beginner, they're kind of like internalizing the idea that art should be kind of purely about grinding where you're like, oh, I need to just draw boxes um, and then I'll get better. And then after that, I need to draw cars 500 times and I'll get better, even if they don't like drawing boxes or cars. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, ki I kind of recommend draw a box. It is fine, but I, I don't think it's... Uh, I think you also need to, like, figure stuff out on your own and, like, try and finish drawings that you're interested in. But I guess if you're already doing that, then that's fine. Anyway, sorry. Um, this is like I guess I'm putting planes on something. I I just trying to get my head around like how light works and stuff. Uh, to, and I didn't really get it. I just was filling in boxes. This is again from Drawbox, I think. Just like some bug, trying to break it down into forms, which again is good. Um, it's a really good exercise actually. Um. Because otherwise, I think just drawing stuff is way too overwhelming. In that, in, like, if you want to start trying to actually learn to process the world rather than just like copy uh, value, I think uh, it's good. Like, you know, this this stuff is helpful. I just think it shouldn't be the only thing you do, which it kind of was for me. Um, anyway, it's like a beetle, I think. Whoa, it's a ball. I'm gonna move on. Um, this is my shoe. See what I'm saying about just not knowing what I wanted to draw at all times. This is some dude. He's 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 kind of he's like come at me, bro. I, I don't really know what he's doing. Um. Yep. It's not good. Hey, that's what she looks like. See, this is another. I I think this might be me. I think I just wanted to draw her. And then every time I drew her, it just came out looking worse and terrible. And this is, st I, I still really struggle to draw her, actually. I don't know why her face is difficult to draw for me. Um, so sorry, as sorry for doxing you as well. But that's okay. I'll ask you if it's okay. Um, but yeah, this is the thing, I guess. When you start art and you're very, you like have a bit of an ego, you're like, oh, I'm an artist now. And then um, you try drawing someone that you know, and then there's kind of no shying away from the fact that you uh, you can't. It's kind of painful for everyone involved. So, um, but yeah, it's worth doing. You know, this is, I'm glad I did this stuff anyway. More painting stuff. Another comic thing. Do you think superpowers will ever happen? Whoa, something else. Oh, this, oh, this is like in the far reaches of my brain. I remember this is a spider, the thing on the bottom left. Oh, actually, I remember this. There is a, there's a, there's a, there's a joke here. It's like, I think I end up drawing this actually like fully somewhere, but it's like, it's like the first panel is this guy's going to be bitten by a spider, like in Spider-Man. While someone's like, do you think superpowers will ever be real? And then the second panel is like, meant to look like he's kind of just gained superpowers but it's actually that he just stepped on the bug or killed the bug and he's like don't be ridiculous anyway this is this is why i don't make comics i think i've suffered too much internal cringe um and it's forever damaged me um cool this is this is good stuff again i'm just trying to learn about hands i don't really know what's going on here but i get the the painted things aren't mine um I think I think what it is maybe is uh it looks like I tried to draw 
I either just traced my hands, but I don't know, I don't think that's true because I did it wrong somehow. Actually, I'm really confused by this drawing. I think maybe what it is, is I tried drawing my hands and then I'm comparing them to like a traced slash photo reference to like check how accurate I was. I did this a lot as a beginner actually, it was really helpful. Um, and especially like, I, I still do it now, but like when I draw stuff, compare like after I finish it's good not to do it while you're drawing but like you draw it to the best of your ability and then when you finished either compare it to like the actual measurements or to um like a better artist than you and just see how they did it it taught me a lot with hands specifically because I think I used a lot of um when I was learning how to draw hands I, I used a lot of comic references and I noticed they um I'll show you actually like because I would just draw kind of like tubes. It's hard to see. If you try and look at the one underneath this, like, see there's like this sketch version, the sketch layer. My, my fingers are kind of just like these undefined tubes. And then comic artists, for whatever reason, and just general artists, they, they always have um, Fiona Staples, who uh, drew Saga, does this like very obviously. And it's it's cool. Um, just the, the, fat, the fat pad side of the fingers, like the underside, is more like uh, curved and then the knuckle side is just more angular like in just says so this is like angle 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 and then the bottom bit's like uh i don't know like a little sausage so it's like a half a sausage with like it's like a pointy sausage like one half of it's pointy anyway um but this is the kind of stuff i only realized because i tr tried drawing hands by myself first and then I was like, these fingers look terrible for some reason. Like, they're just tubes. And then I would compare it and be like, oh, like you, you could only notice these subtle differences when you're like in the in the world of hands, you know. Um, so yeah, I, I do recommend doing that actually. It, like, and it comes up a lot. I think for the first like, and as and cynics also did or says this actually, which is why I kind of did it. But the first kind of while well, you're just like learning how to draw, like trying to even just get vaguely competent like just drawing is just so hard when you start like it's it's almost impossible so just like use anything you can to make it easier um and a lot of that for me was just copying other artists um because you it's just more simple than trying to interpret stuff from the real world um because they've done a lot of the work for you but it's good to stop at some point after like two years i would say not, not, not stop completely, but like you need to like then be like, how do I want to draw hands? Otherwise, um, you just will always struggle without reference. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's totally a fine. Like copying artists should be more of a. I mean, I do it all the time. I still do it all the time. Um, you learn so much, and also like it's how you get style. Your style is just like an amalgamation of all the artists you like and copied and stuff. Anyway. Oh, speaking of, um, this is me trying to, yeah, figure out, I wanted, I guess I wanted to make a webcomic and then, um, I was trying to figure out my style and this is, these tube heads are from, uh, Extra Fabulous Comics, I think, I, I, I liked how he drew his people, they're very simple, um, I think I'm, there's a bit more of it, but I'm trying to just, it's, it's just studying, it's good to do this stuff, um, gosh, I, I, I know this took so long, like this probably took me like eight hours, I think, because I don't draw like this, like especially back, I mean, I do now a little bit, but back then I, I never drew like accurately, like I tended to draw like chaotically like this. See, just chaos. So the fact that this is so refined means that um, I must have spent ages on this, trying to just like get the perspective correct, I guess, and just um do that. i hate doing stuff like this to be honest with you but it is it, good to do especially as a beginner and it gives you a lot of confidence as well where you can be like hey look i drew a thing and it looks like the thing um well my first ever narrative piece just really it's really emotional guys i don't really know what this is um i think it's like homeless dude i don't remember why i drew this i'm gonna move on <laughs> uh this i think is from a psycho video actually uh, I don't remember, but yeah, this is definitely from a psych video. Again, you just see, it's cool actually, I'm, I'm enjoying doing it, because I always thought I would do, do like a sketchbook tour when I was really good at art, and I'm 
I've been I've been painting for more than a year. I've been doing it for like four years now. Oh, this is when I was like 22 and I'm now like 26. Um, but I don't, I'm not really that good yet, to be honest. Um, and I'm not being humble. Like I, I'm, 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 be I'm much better, but I'm, I, anyway, when you see people do this, it's always people who are just like insanely good. And then it's like cool to see how bad they were basically. Um, cause it's inspiring. But anyway, I'm glad I did this. I wanted to do this actually because as this will become a common theme in this, um, I want to copy Cynix's stuff. I want to copy his um, digital art recap every year. Like it's cool. I just I just want to do it. It's a good way to keep track of like what I was interested in and just like compartmentalize my life a bit. Um, so, but before I do that, I wanted to like go through the backlog of my old digital art so that I feel like it's in order. You know, I don't want to be doing like the Star Wars chronological stuff anyway me trying to figure out light because light is a nightmare especially when you can't paint more shoes uh you could just see how like new to drawing i was because my lines are so like what is this like you know it's just so unconfident i'm like i don't feel confident enough to make a line like just a line i have to make like what is this 30 40 lines same here yeah, this is this is just uh this is probably like one of my first ever dig like digital art pieces. We're still in 2019, by the way. I'll let you. I'll let you know when we go to 2020. Um, I don't know what this is, but I guess again I'm practicing light falling on form in a very like chaotic way. But this is, to be honest, this is still how I draw. This is just a less less clean version. But I still draw very messily in in like a way that's kind of like handwriting, where like I understand what this means. Like even though. This doesn't look like anything like I, I get that the top is light this like hatching that spread out is like still the light area and then where it gets more scratchy that's like the shadow area and then this is like a car shadow because it's darker than the others anyway this is i mean it's fine to do this sometimes just to get your head around stuff but i i think it's really like hindered my art actually and it's it's like one of my weaknesses is that i um I just never cared about my presentation too much, which is a weird thing to say about like a visual medium. But I um I just was trying to like get information into my brain, which is fine. Again, it's fine. But I think caring about your aesthetics is important when you're making art. So anyway, I get better. Um, lots of circles. Cool. Um. I used to draw so many circles when I first, this isn't really in my digital sketchbook, but when I started, um, I would just draw lines all the time. Cause I thought, I thought, but I thought I didn't realize that drawing was so, um, just about leveling up your observational skills and you're like, you're making decisions and stuff. I thought it was purely like, um, <laughs> like muscle memory or something like if I could train my arm to do a line in any location like to just be pure like to be like oh I want to draw a line from here from this rhino's from this dot to this rhino's ear and like if I could do it perfectly then I'd suddenly unlock how to draw but that's not how it works um but I used to uh I used to just spend so much time just drawing lines like in different angles because I think this is true for everyone, but for me, I can draw lines very accurately and straight 45 degrees away from my body to the right, if that makes sense. Um, but any other angle is just terrible for me. Like I really struggled to draw like vertically, um, but I, I spent like weeks, I'm not even joking, like weeks just um, trying to fix that, <laughs> like trying to, I thought, oh, if I could draw accurate lines from any angle, then I will be able to and curves then I can be able to draw anything but like it doesn't matter because you can just rotate the canvas to like fit whichever like if, if it's one of your weaker kind of muscle areas then you can just rotate the canvas anyway um this is a rhino I think I drew this on the way to work actually some of these it's cool I have just like that's one cool thing about drawing actually is it kind of like journaling in a way where like uh you can just remember what is this anyway i'm just i'm just going on <laughs> you can remember um like where you were when you drew some of it or like why you were drawing it or 
but but you, if you get into you see it. Um, I can't remember why I did this. I think this is a. I think this is for another crisposable post actually. But um, this stuff stuff like this is good actually. Like trying to learn to draw. Just try, basically it's just trying to trying out different techniques to produce accuracy. Like I'm using negative shapes here. Like I'm probably focused more on the drawing the dark areas accurately rather than the light area and then it makes an accurate shape but like just having different tools is, is useful because especially when you're new you should just try out different shit because like you don't know what will best suit you like i don't do much negative shape stuff nowadays but like other like i know um ahmed el aldori like he does whenever i watch his stuff he's always using negative shapes to to get his like accuracy right um so it's worth trying you know like you never know what you'll end up doing i quite like this painting i saw it earlier um i like the uh this like lost edge here like how i wish i did it on these anyway i mean i wasn't thinking about any of this stuff back then i was just trying to struggle to make something look vaguely like it looks um i don't know this feels artistic to me if that makes sense kind of so that's cool um because I, I like, I mean, I don't do enough, but I like the stuff in paintings where it's like, obviously, as a human, we know that there is a separation between this plug and the background. But like, visually, that's not really a thing. Like, lines don't really exist in real life. So if, if you get, if you, in your references or whatever, if you can group your values. So if, if you, it's a light background and it's a light subject, then uh, kind of just getting rid of that barrier can be really cool sometimes it can just look cool um because it's like a heightened version of reality it feels like anyway. um i was really into my superhero stuff back then apparently it says superman it says i'd make a great hero name one thing that you'd be good at and then there's the sun is like what and then Oh, it's it's this is my other this is the same as my other comic. And then the guy chops a spider and he's like, you were saying? Anyway, I'm glad that I gave up on this. <laughs> God. I, 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 the, the, it's painful. Anyway, it's fine. Um Yep, Cinder, cool. More stuff about light. Pretty cool. But yeah, I basically you see how much I'm just like studying stuff. It's good to do this stuff, but also if you if you're in a similar boat, good to try and as early as possible, kind of make the art that like you really want to make, rather than because so much of it for me was just being like, oh, I want to paint this this girl riding a giraffe or whatever. But I'm like, I don't know how to paint girls and I don't know how to paint giraffes and therefore I won't try it. I need to like first, I need to work on cubes first, if that makes sense, or need to work on the terminator line or, or you know what I mean? Um, and it's just cause it's painful to like completely fail a piece of art. Um, but it's, it's, it's important. You, you'll realize it's important. I realize it's important anyway. Um, like you just need to try and do the things that you want to do with your current ability as early as possible and and just not as early as possible but just keep doing it forever and then eventually um you'll get there yeah 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 oh yeah see this is me uh copying this extra fabulous guy cool 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 hey it's finny idk this is the uh, logo I ended up logo. I don't like my little profile picture I had for like a couple of years, and it's cool. But it's the reason I changed it is because it's, it's traced. Um, like it's just because I, I just couldn't draw. Like I I couldn't draw myself basically. Like I was trying to draw myself in like a simple way like this, but in a way that looks like me still. I just couldn't do it. So I just traced a funny photo of me, where I have like a double chin. Um, but yeah. Is traced so sorry to all the, the idk fans out there 
Oh dear, it's a finished comic. I'm not. I'm just gonna let you read it, and I'm gonna move on very quickly. This is my old tag at Gamer Gunk Comics. Terrible time. Whoa, and it's Gamer Gunk Comics himself. This is me. That's what I look like. Um, oh, I'm doing negative shape stuff again. It's cool. I feel like this must be. For, I don't know why I would just do this. Like I feel like this is like prep for something else, but maybe not. Um. Anyway, I'm glad I'm not Gamer Gunk Comics. I'm so this is, I didn't realise this, I'm in a pre Vinny IDK era. Like this, I think I drew this before I was uh, Vinny IDK. So that's how old this is, ancient ancient history for Vinny IDK fans. Some of this is really good, like I'm very confused. Because like, I mean, maybe it's an accident, but I'm, I'm like, I'm in, I'm doing what I would start doing later on. Um, which is like interpreting interpreting shapes and pushing shapes rather than just copying it accurately. Like you see how in the image it has like my shoulder goes in here and then it comes out here. I hope you can see my mouse, otherwise all this is pointless. I'm, I'm using anyway. But it goes in, forward and slightly out and then down. But here I'm exaggerating. I'm going in, forward, all the way out and then down. It might just be me like not knowing how to draw and like using this like weird square brush that's really inaccurate but um like it's good i'm making decisions about stuff rather than just copying which is really important and pretty much all of art is just doing that over and over again maybe i should get short hair again oh dear i need to answer the door so i'll be right back <laughs> It's open. It's open. Well, well, well. Where is the delivery driver? Cool. Anyway, back to this thing. Um. Yep. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, this was. I think this was a. This got to be a Byron drawing. It, it looks like a Byron style drawing, but this is what I meant. We just started it, i don't know this is much better than my one byron's probably a better artist than i am he should do more art um anyway cool light on form very important guys um i have no idea what this is meant to be um i'm gonna try my oh no i do know what this is meant to be oh my god it's like uh it's so it's so uh it's almost like abstract art but it's not meant to be this is like part of my room because i have this like weird like this my childhood room i have this like exposed uh brick part of the wall but instead of i just couldn't draw bricks so i just drew squares and then i think this is my desk lamp and then this is my desk. There you go, guys. Most piece. Painting pieces of paper. Um, some Loomis stuff. I did a lot of Loomis stuff. Um, I really don't know if it's good. Like, I don't, I don't use it at all anymore. But it's always difficult when you do stuff, and then you don't use it. But then I'm, part of me is like, maybe the only reason I can draw is because I did this stuff but I I don't know I think Loomis Loomis heads specifically are, are, are a bit overrated in terms of like a useful art tool I like his stuff on um hands he's got Loomis draws some nice hands um but basically I think if I to elaborate on this 
it's just it does it does help you perceive form and that's good and it does help you like place things but it all any i'm just a bit like skeptical like the, the better i've gotten at art anyway this stuff where like it's kind of um almost like a formula you know rather than like rather than teaching you to actually like observe your reference and like in interpret it it's just like draw a circle here imagine another circle on the other side do line across divide this into three sections like it's not drawing you know it's like it's like making lego or something like it's it's i i, I don't know um i'm a bit of a loomis here sorry guys perspective cool this is like this guy was a priest for a comic i was gonna make for my uh for my girlfriend actually like a mini comic and it's actually i found the script for it like a few months ago and it's so funny um it's 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 actually very well it's a good good little script but um i gave up on it partly because keanu reeves was the main character and i could not draw keanu reeves so maybe i'll do it again one day sorry as <laughs> i don't know why this drawing keeps getting used uh this is that same portrait anyway cool she's a knight now and this is this is uh this is my favorite one of the saga cool another cylinder i don't know why like this is what i mean like it's it's my style is like mess it's evolved into this messy thing but like come on finny it's like i i just used to be like oh it's it's cool that i don't care i don't even need my stuff to go in the lines and it's like yeah fair enough but also just like it doesn't matter just just do it in the lines like I keep i can keep this bit in this bit's kind of cool this is like a lost i like this effect it's like a lost edge but like just erase this finny come on anyway hands gave up very quickly she did two another cinder there we go look He's listened to my critique. He's uh, he's figuring it out. Oh dear, I'm gonna move on from this one as well. But the thing is, this took like this took like at least eight hours. <laughs> like I put so much effort into this one. Like anyway, um, and this is just not not even funny or or good. Yay, this is a nice one, but this is because I traced it. I got fed up with it in the end. Um, but see, even when I trace trace her, uh, it just uh, doesn't look like her. Anyway, this one my first. This is like my day two of having my iPad. I was on. I this was a um, train seat on my commute to work. I remember this one, and I remember being really proud of it when I got to work. I was like, "Yo, check this out." When shading 3D shape, break it down into low rendering planes to work out light, then blend and smooth out top and bottom to get cylinder shape. True, I guess, good advice. But, um, you know, if, if it's so smart, then why does it look so bad, Vinny? You know, it can't be that good advice if my cylinder doesn't look like a cylinder. This is a camera. Again, I think this probably took like at least four hours, I reckon, because it's so neat. Well, neat for my... Yeah, this is this is neat for my standards back then. Whoa, I'm trying to do some perspective stuff for something. I don't know why I did this, but you can see how I'm thinking stuff through, like from the, you know, when I was drawing um those uh, wasps and like bugs earlier, like breaking stuff down into uh simple shapes perceiving perce like turning what you see into 3d form i was doing it on the fingers a bit there doing it on the arm here obviously i can't really paint it um this is a nice hand i think i like this must be well no it's not a nice hand but i like the uh the shape design of the hand anyway i don't remember what this is for this is also for that like how to learn procreate course um and again it, this you know like this looks nice kind of like it's it's nice but anything that looks very nice like this like clean and 
kind of like considered it's like it's just uh it's not only is it like me copying art but it's also um i'm literally step by step he's like okay now fill in this layer in green start a new layer pick this color put it here like it's 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 just me following instructions so it's not very impressive um <laughs> i guess i thought that uh this would be an easy car to draw because it's so simplified already so there's some perspective stuff. To be honest, my perspective has gone so bad because I, I I don't even like I don't even know how I would do that anymore. Like I, I my perspective has been slacking because I just hate it and don't care about it too much. But I do need to care about it. Um, lots of hands. It's good, good stuff. Don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. Oh, that's the end. That's the end of 2019, guys. Um. I think you remember that like girl, hustly girl I drew earlier. I think this is it looks the same anyway. Cool. So twenty nineteen, lots of um September to the end of twenty nineteen, lots of um just studying crap, man. Studying crap, learning about light. Anyway, this is a bit more structured this time. So whereas before this is just all over the place, this this will be a little bit in order. So this is my January stuff. It's January 2020. Before I knew the pandemic would happen. Um, no matter how skilled you may be, always begin with building head correctly. Wrong. This is what I mean about Loomis stuff. I don't do this anymore. And I feel like this just, like, look, just, I mean, I'm, I'm, I know I'm just bad at art at this point, but like, it's just not aesthetic. Do you know what I mean? Even if you do it right, even if you, even if you like, place everything. I I I don't know. I I uh I got radicalized by cynics. I think, to like, not use construction too much. But it, it's good to it's good to use some construction. Like basically, Loomis is like doing this stuff is fine. But then this whole thing of being like always begin with construction and building it out correctly. I think you need to abandon that at some point after you have internalized this stuff more of it um but yeah i did i did i think i could say this but like this is probably like fundamental to my drawing skills now so these are just um this is from cynics's hand video i remember i painted these and then uploaded them but i think they are just like direct copies of cynics's at least some of them are i think th this one is definitely this is very cynics-y like the way the three fingers are simplified maybe not but I, I think it is anyway i remember i uploaded it and then um to instagram and i ended up deleting it because it's it's basically just like stolen art but that's what you gotta do when you're a noob just uh just don't claim it as your own as i did um these are definitely ahmed uh aldori this one is like this is a nice hand it's not mine i think that i copied uh ahmed video in fact i think all of these definitely this one as well um but you know the main thing is that i'm tackling hands like it's good to not shy away from these tricky subjects no idea what this one is um this is from a bridgman class i think i was doing with uh marshall um it's cool breaking figures down into like graphical shapes always good stuff graphical shapes are good that's the end of January. I think, yes, some, some, I mean, just in general. Wait, how is this the end of January? Because I didn't, I, we didn't see all these. Excuse me, computer. Oh, I don't know what happened. Um, I think this is uh, that same homeless guy from earlier. I don't know why I wanted to draw a homeless guy. But I did, apparently. Um, I think this is him. <laughs> cool uh cool looks like some kind of orc guy i don't really know um oh this is interesting this is the first found footage of me doing meds hundred heads i think it's got to be I, I probably actually there's some probably in my sketchbook this is the first digital evidence um and as you can see i was struggling with it and i'll get back to that later um because meds hundred heads was really good for me and i recommend it so feb 2020 some kind of monkey man 
I think a lot of this stuff is like when I would try and draw for imagination. Um, like this, this stuff anyway. And I just, I, I, you know, when, when you, when you struggle with drawing, um, heads, then, uh, stuff just doesn't look human, actually. My, my brother once said to me, I think he didn't mean it in a bad way, but it always stuck to me, where he was like, um, I was drawing something on a plane. Uh, I was just drawing people in my sketchbook. This is when I was better at art than now, but I still, anyway, anyway. And he was like, um, oh, this is really cool. Like, it's cool, like, I like how you draw people, like, they don't look like people, they're like animals or something. And I was like, I was just, in my head, I was like, oh, I wasn't trying to, I was trying to draw a human being. <laughs> anyway, um, this is, oh, this is cool. This is, this is, uh, I think I was drawing this, trying to draw this for my, actually, wait, this is February. Anyway, I don't know why I was trying to draw this. Oh, maybe it's Valentine's. <laughs> um, this is a photo of me and my girlfriend that I was trying to draw, trying to turn into a painting. Like, it's a nice photo, believe it or not. And then I guess I was using Marco Bucci's uh, video on values, which is a good video, actually. I just couldn't do it. Again, drawing um, portraits when you're bad at it is rough. It's rough. Uh, it looks like some kind of crab man. This looks really good and annoying. This is one of those annoying things where um, people are always like, whoa, you drew that? This is cool. But again, this is um, this is copied from um, that how to do Procreate course. Like, I, I went through, I mean, you know, like, I, I did a good job of, like, following instructions and stuff, but it's, like, it, it really was just step by step. Um, like, because this is just not how I draw. This doesn't look how, like how I draw. Like, I was obviously just step by step going through and being like, okay, he's like, now make the nose this long, roughly. And then blah, blah, blah. But again, this is it's really helpful for me to, A, just get, you know, like, go through the process with someone who knows what they're doing about how to like make a finished illustration. Um, like, you know, like I didn't know what this was at the time, but you know, it's got like bounce light and stuff in it. Um, not bounce light, rim light. Um, and I was like, oh cool, that makes things look more finished or whatever. Um, and also just like, even it was a bit, like I said, it's annoying because people, people always really like this one. And I, I, I it's always annoying when people like ones that just, is not your art um but it, it was nice to get some confidence to be like cool i did this you know or to show it to people to be like hey look i've been digital painting but again th this is why it's annoying because people like this stuff but it's like really where i was at was was here like this was my this was me trying to probably paint someone from imagination i imagine um which is what this is but this is what happened when I would do it. And it was frustrating for people to be like, oh, cool. But it's like, you know, you're, you're not there. This is what you're drawing. <laughs> um, this is cool. I guess. Um, I feel like this is probably still related to that Marco Bucci video. It's very similar, like harsh. Like my values are just the same from that. Um, this is quite a good, this is like good. Well, not good, but like a, you know, the the nose feels quite three D. There's like some form going on there. Um, but yeah, I think this is what like you know my, when I was saying some of my stuff looks like animals. I think I still do it now, but I have a t I had a tendency to do really long noses. I don't really know why. Um, and I think that's like it makes it look more animalistic, like it's a snout or something. Lines. This back to that um, attempted Valentine's thing. That I failed at. Um, I just gave up on this in the end. I'm pretty sure. But it was a nice idea. Happy Valentine's. If you're watching this. This is my secret gift. That I never made. Some weird shark man. He's not meant to be a shark man. Probably meant to be a human. Again I'm just so unconfident with my lines. Like. Anyway. Oh. Yeah so it's not. Per so it's not perfectly in order. Because I just did such a bad job of keeping like records of my art. So I've just kind of quickly put it all into folders. But this is obviously before I painted it. Um, which again is like this is not 
I, I don't tend to paint in in a grayscale and then do color. Um, but, you know, like I said, it's good to try out these different approaches to things. Like it was good for me to try this and be like, oh, I can use multiply layers and put color on top of value and it looks all right. Um, but yeah, anyway, so every, this is all from January, but it's just not perfectly in order. I'm doing some more perspective stuff, which is good. It's that thing again. You see, but you see how much I'm struggling with it if I'm trying to do it three times or whatever. The point isn't perfection, just that three segments should be equal. Rest can change. But it's just not true, Loomis. Three segments don't need to be equal. Otherwise, this is the problem because then all your all your drawings of faces just look like these weird muscular men. Like there's no way around it. If you do three segments the same way, like anyway. Um, trying to paint, failing. Trying to do perspective, succeeding. But again, this is I wasn't really applying this stuff. That's the problem. I. This is why it's important to um, have projects or try and be making art that you're passionate about. Because, like, why was I doing this perspective? Like, I, you know, it was useful. It was really useful. Um, but, like, it, it wasn't like I kept trying and failing to, like, draw, like, buildings or something. I was just doing perspective for no reason. Um, but, you know, it, it does help. It helps you perceive 3D space, which... Uh, you know, I'm not going to hate on perspective. Um, this is a study, probably like traced, I think, of uh, Anthony Jones. And I don't think this drawing is a study. It might be. Um, I remember being in Costa on a lunch break at work, actually, and doing this. Because I just like, I like the colours, like the blue and the red and the yellow. I like them. Um, so yeah, keep studying, studying artists, very important guys. Oh, that's the end of January. Nice. Um, oh wait, sorry, it's the end of February. Whoa, it's March. Um, I don't have a lot for March. I wonder if that's cause of COVID. Anyway, this is my only COVID piece, guys. Um, this is for a... I, this is this is what I mean. It's cool to do stuff where look, I'm having to actually use the perspective I learned, like the perspective of the shelf, and like trying to place these. I mean, this is a nightmare. I, I found it. I mean, it's not even accurate. And but anyway, trying to place these toilet toilet paper things on the uh, on the desk that requires perspective. So it's like you need to be doing other stuff, not just um, mindlessly studying. But as you'll see, I do not heed that advice. Um, Kind of a nice hand actually look at that you can see the uh the impact of me studying comic books actually a lot in this hand i think it looks like a comic comic style hand anyway yeah, this is um album art for a uh it was like called the covid19 isolation station something playlist um i made a playlist with one of my co-workers and friends um, and I will link it in the description because it's a good playlist. It, it, it's, it's, um, anyway, it's just, it's, it's nice. It, it was good while I still have this kind of like mindless job where I could listen to music all the time. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, this is meant to be like the lo-fi hip hop girl, but like with various COVID, this is March. So this was like peak COVID, I guess. So I've got the headphones on because it's like the lo-fi girl. And then I'm prepping for, uh, I guess I've got, there's a hoard of, um, this is my toilet paper stash that I've hoarded. So that was all the rage back then. People fighting over toilet paper. Um, and this blood is also, this colour palette is uh, from that same comic of that muscular woman i kept drawing earlier i can't remember what that comic was called but i i i like the blood in it this is the beginning of my six fan arts challenge if any of you remember that on instagram um it's probably my first ever like instagram i think it was yeah my first ever like instagram challenge that i participated in um and this is sawyer from lost i was trying to make him <laughs> i was trying to make him look like 
sexy because uh, my girlfriend thought he was hot and she recommended this is like her suggestion. Um, and actually, you know, like it's a bit chaotic, but I, I like it. I like the personality he has. Um, there's a lot of personality going on with this hand, you know. My hand practice was paying off, I guess. And it vaguely looks like Sawyer, so that was cool. Um, don't know what this is. One point perspective practice, I think. Um, cool. So this is uh, Med's 100 heads. Um, I think, yeah, it must be. Um, and I'd already, I, I can't remember, like, this is probably 50 heads in, because I think the first 50 I did um, in my sketchbook, like, not. I, I was using, basically, I just was using Med's 100 heads as my, like, project at the time to, um, like, just implement all my practice. You know, I spent a long time drawing heads, like, all this Loomis stuff, and I wanted to, like, practice it. Um, so I think I guess I take it because I this is about 50 heads in, like I said, and then I don't do it the next month. I remember doing it. It picks up again in June. So I guess I took a break from it. But um, I'll, I'll talk about it in June. But it was like this is probably my most uh, useful thing I ever did in terms of like getting good at art. Um, anyway, it's more of my six fan arts challenge. This is, again, just a copy of... Um, this Joker, Joker illustration from um, oh, what was it? It's in one of the Frank Miller Batman comics, anyway. Um, yeah, but this is Pickle Rick because I didn't want to have to draw Pickle Rick. So yeah, but this is what I don't know. Like, it's fine to copy and study art, but I think like like th this is just this is just me stealing art basically, and it sucks, not because it, I mean, oh, yeah, who cares about the ethics, but uh, it sucks because, um, like, I'm not really, like, proud of it, like, this is a cool drawing, you know what I mean, like, if I, if I'd come out of this, come up with this, like, on my own, I'd be like, oh, this is cool, but it's like, I just copied it, a lot of these six fan art ones are like that, actually, because I just, um, I just couldn't, I couldn't draw, like, I couldn't make a finished image, it was too difficult for me, so um I got this idea from some other artist. This is this is like slightly my own, but just this this is Gordon Ramsay. It was like a like a wrinkly furrowed brow, like they really exaggerated it, made it look like paper almost. And I thought it looked cool. And then I kind of did my own version of it. Um because I mean this is I don't know if this is a common thing for all artists, but I feel like when you're just really struggling with art, you wanna like um at least for me because i was just so insecure about it um this is uh some guy from uh lord of the rings sorry guys i can't remember the brown wizard guy um this one actually is um this is more my own and i think you can tell like this doesn't this i, I can tell anyway but th this is like more organic i came up with the pose and the illustration idea and everything and I, I like this a lot more and like i'm it's cool like i can see my old tendencies in it um anyway i was trying to say when you're really bad at art and you like want to post things online or make finished finished things it's very easy to like to distract from how bad your technical skills are by just trying to be like as creative or like as clever as possible. I don't know if this is like a universal thing, but definitely for me it was like, I was like, I don't know how to make a Pickle Rick illustration look nice. I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna like do some cool unexpected thing where Pickle Rick is like this scary green man. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, it's more creative, I guess. Anyway, but um, I do it a lot and I still do it to an extent now. And it's not good. You should just try and be proud of where you're at with your art. Um, this is some boss from Hollow Knight. I can't remember, but Byron. This is Byron's six fan art suggestion, and I remember um, this me trying to copy uh, uh, Scott Flanders' art style. Um, 
which you know stuff like that i think is fine and, and really useful like because i i'm not copying his art i'm 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 taking i'm i'm looking at how his art works being like oh cool he uses the lasso tool and like this really graphic style and then trying to apply it to my own stuff i think you know that's it's really good um this is a bit of a mishmash where it's like i'm definitely copying someone's art style for like a reference what is this meant to be actually i've just realized is this like Pepe? I think it might be Pepe the frog. Um, but again, I I I want it. Actually, yeah, this actually I I do like. Um, like it's a cool it's a cool piece of art. But again, these are uh, this is just Tiago Lemons. Um, like the way he draws liquid, but it's fine, I guess, because at least I'm like applying it to something slightly different. Um, in fact, actually, now that I think about it, this whole thing is, um, this is definitely just, like, very Tiago Lemon inspired. Like, I really liked his Bug World uh, stuff when I was new to art, and I still like it. He was kind of the first artist that, like, um, I was exposed to who had this very, like, shape, shape first approach. Like, shape was their strongest, um... I don't know what the word is, but like, you know, like Mike, Mike Min Mignola, Mignola, I don't know how you say it. A lot of people, he he's like a big inspiration for people. But for me, I found Tiago Lemons first. And obviously he's been inspired by like Mike. Um, but anyway, um, but yeah, it's kind of cool. Again, I just kind of copied. I remember like Googling like frog ninja or something and then like copying. Like, I think this leg or so. it's just like a weird, this is like a Frankenstein of like, kind of my like idea like i kind of had this idea to like have i don't know this like pepe as a ninja guy or something i don't know but like there's just so many like this arm this is just like uh this looks like it's the mike mignola, mignola arm this is like tiago lemon the, the rest of it is just like some other artist i found online but you know, like I don't, it's it's fine. But it's just it's kind of what you do when you you can't make images by yourself. Like I still struggle to make images by myself. Like it's hard, it's a very hard thing to do, um, especially when you're new. I think I was like, oh, if I if I steal three different things from three different artists and put them together, then it counts as my own. And it's like kind of, but um, it's just not as good for like your development as an artist. But whatever. Um, May. Mm -mm. May actually will be a good example of me trying to do stuff on my own a bit more. Um, I don't know what this is. Some kind of portrait. Cause, um, just kind of go through this, but this is, um, it was a, it was a, from Marco Bucci's, some like YouTube competition he had where, um, he, it was I can't remember what it was, but it was basically like character design, and I think it was like create a character or like draw a character from a, like a book that you like, um, and I ended up going with uh, Ted Chang's story of your life collection. Like uh, Ted Chang is the he wrote the story that would become the film Arrival, and then um, he's got this short story I really like about angels coming to earth and causing natural like they are natural disasters but they're also like unequivocally kind of like good like god like you're like holy shit god is real there is a heaven and a hell but then at the same time um god's power is just like therefore uh killing people and it's like oh Anyway, the, the main character is just trying to reconcile, like, trying to believe in God, but also, like, hating him because he's murdering loads of people with these angel powers. Anyway, I wanted to draw one of these angels. Um, so that's what this is. This, obviously, this is Peter, Peter Moorbacker, whatever he's called. Um, but again, I, th th I think I did better, like, in the six fan arts, I was just kind of copying stuff. This is very much like, I was copying, but it was more like, this was more in the heavily inspired camp because like 
and part most of it was because I I couldn't imitate his art style. Like as a beginner, I thought, oh, like I can I can draw like Tiago Lemon. He's it must be really easy. He doesn't even like uh. He doesn't even like uh paint, but I was like, no way I can copy this because it's like masterful. But you know, obviously they're both like as good as each other, just have different styles. Anyway, oh, this is my finished drawing, and I remember being kind of oh, it's, it's hard. I was really proud of this um because you'll see i'll go through it in a minute but so much work it went like this is like a week of different a week of like iterating and like coming up with stuff i remember i liked this leg like uh and i still kind of do like impressionistically it's cool like how this leg is more in the, like the, i'm thinking about focal points and stuff basically where i'm like this leg is in in the shadow i'm just gonna lose all of it this is like in the light oh yeah sorry the idea is that like uh i guess this guy this is like an angel that can like redirect um natural phenomenon like lightning so he's got like uh goes into his like halo head and then is like going down this like like a tesla coil i guess and comes out his feet that's what i was thinking about anyway but yeah i mean obviously this is just uh it, it's cool like it it has a nice um it's really atmospheric, but just like the pose, he just he just looks like a scared like little boy, or whatever. And um. And and like I I just really struggle with the face, um, but yeah, it's cool. This is this is what you should be doing, guys. This is um. Like you should always be trying to shoot for the stars and like meet go for your ideas, even if you. You know, like, I, I struggled with painting, I struggled with pose, I struggled with perspective. Like, this weird thing is just not on him properly. It's, like, on his right hip instead of, like, on his centre. Um, I struggled with design, like, just a weird design. But um, it's cool. Like, it's cool to look back on. Um, I, I, mean, I was really happy with this when I did it. Um, and this is, and everything else you're going to see is kind of like the prep work, which is why it came out like better than my other stuff at the time. This is like, this is cool design. Like you can see, I'm thinking kind of what I was saying before. Hey, let me go back. You know how like this leg is lost. If you squint at it, this is just like less detail than this leg. And you can see like, I thought this stuff through like in this stuff. So it's cool. Yeah, I should do more character design. I, I, I think uh, I, I like it a lot. Um, top left is uh, Ahmed uh, Aldori painting. I really like this painting. I, I I I still do actually. I think he did it with cynics or something. But I like the. I think it's because I, I like the metal and stuff. It's just cool. It's a cool painting. But the um. The bounce light is so like obvious. So I think when I was a noob, my eyes just couldn't detect like more subtle stuff. So like this this orange part at the top left. I was like, oh, wow, you can reflect light off skin. Like, I didn't realise that was a thing. Um, anyway, I don't know why it's there. I guess it's part of my inspo. Cool. And then these two silhouettes are Peter Moore backer stuff. And then the rest is my own stuff. I And um, this kind of, like, girl, this, like, female design with, like, a whip, like, a ethereal whip. I don't know what it was. I really liked it actually. I still do. Um, it wasn't what I ended up doing because it was just like I don't know. It's more of like a sexy vibe. Like it's cool. But I I don't know. I, I I like this little design I did anyway. Maybe I'll do it again at some point. Um, I think I I think it was just I couldn't I I I couldn't paint this. Like the pose was too complicated to try and turn into a finished thing. Um, cool. Yeah, it's cool. It, this is it's nice being able to see my old um, thoughts. So I should do more. I I don't know. I'm just as a note to self. I should do more. Kind of projecty character design stuff. It's fun. Um, this is more of the same. Anyway, I uh didn't win the competition, as you can probably guess. Um, <laughs> this is I've got to warn you guys. This is the scary the scary portrait era. This is when my it's about to begin, mainly next month. Just like I I really knuckled down and was like, I am going to learn how to paint people's faces or I'm going to like do something. <laughs> uh so but but I was just really struggling. 
like because fa faces are just so difficult like because the anatomy of a face is so difficult and it's a hard thing to start like i probably should have just started painting like something easier but it's what i was interested in um but anyway the reason i say they're scary is because they i don't know they just freak me out in a weird way that they, they look like uh it's because they're like uncanny they're almost human but they're not there yet like look at this terrifying it's like found footage of like some nazi germany trial to turn people into monsters it's cool like i, I like it actually like it's got a scary horror vibe to it but the funny it's just unintentional like it's not meant to be scary <laughs> um anyway but yeah i was just really struggling with portraits more angel stuff cool that's the end of that um so that was may cool so june um this is a cool month because this is like uh this is my most like memorable month of art i think like i really rem this just sticks out in my brain because i was so frustrated i was so i was so annoyed like while painting because it's like i think i was at that point where my brain understood how to paint like i, I was like i can i can do this i know how to make something i know what i should be doing to make something look like vaguely vaguely representational um through painting but i just couldn't do it and every time i would paint it was just so frustrating um and i was also doing um meds 100 heads at the time um and i think this I'd, I'd done a lot of drawing so i like i feel like i had uh i'd internalized a lot of anatomy stuff i did uh, i'll tell you what was useful while i'm on the subject marco bucci's anatomy of the head something something like that i recommend it it was really good um just for teaching me I feel like basically with head stuff you do need to learn the anatomy and then you also need to like forget about it um but there's lots of ways to do that but if if, if you haven't done it already and you want to learn the anatomy of a head i think marco bucci stuff was really 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 good um but i'd internalized a lot of it like you can kind of see like i'm like oh the eye sockets are like a 3d form where they're dark at the top where the light can't reach and then there's like this little ball guy which is your eyeball and it has more light on it or like i'm like the nose is this wedge and then the bottom part of it is dark because light can't get underneath like i'm thinking about it if you squint and you just ignore how terrible this is there is some amount of form here um anyway i'm gonna go through it oh and I, this is uh this is from my sketchbook actually so it's cool you can kind of see i was just doing meds 100 heads which again i really recommend um because but yeah meds 100 heads is really good because um it was like instead of just copying solutions from other artists for problems that had already been solved by them so like i would um you know like i was saying earlier like oh they 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 make the pointy part of a finger really obvious so that it's it's clear that that's where the knuckle and the bones are and then the other part is more like rounded it's like that that's like an artistic way that they decided to interpret hands um and that stuff's really good and also studying stuff on my own is really good like just like studying photo, doing photo studies or studies from life is good too obviously um but meds 100 heads was so good because it combined the two so like i would and i would try and do my own in, like the, the, i don't know what it, probably not this um oh that's spoilers anyway like this um like i would try and draw a head and then i would fail like it would suck um and that was i wasn't like beating myself up about it but it's just kind of i was like oh this is not really where i want it to be and then i could go look at artists interpreting the same reference um and that was just so useful because instead of only seeing their solution i also see the problem they were trying to solve because normally you can't really see like their exact reference um but it was cool because i would make my attempt trying to solve this refer reference and then where the things i would struggle i'd be like oh that, 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 that's what they were doing they were i don't know like that's why they did what they did like i had so many moments like that um so yeah i, I really recommend if like if you're a noob um mez 100 heads is is really good 
just try not to like get down on yourself if you're comparing yourself to much better artists all the time um just you know you're where you're at and you'll get better um but yeah no I, it was it was so useful for me anyway this this is like uh this was the mo this is my first ever painting that i was like ecstatic about because this is like th this is kind of towards the end of the month actually um there's there's it's in the wrong order anyway i just you know i was saying like i, I really wanted to paint but I, and i kind of knew what to do but i just couldn't do it i ended up um this is a cynics painting always it's not my own thing um this is from some cynics video and um i just went through it and i like pull I, I just paused on pause for like an hour or two hours and just copied every brush stroke he made um and it wasn't like to try and it, it was this was just me studying because i was like i i was like i'm so close to knowing how to paint i just can't do it it's really annoying me um and then i remember just like finally this was like a breakthrough painting for me basically where i was like holy shit i can paint even though like i copied his his stuff but i like i felt like i was understanding it rather than just kind of um like doing like a paint by numbers something um so yeah thanks to cynics i guess which is a very common theme in my art um yeah but yeah, it, it was cool. I just I, I just couldn't paint for so long and it was really frustrating me. And then I I, I something just clicked when I was painting this one, which was really nice. Like it's I, you know, it's not the it's not a great painting, but like um it it looks like a thing. Uh, so these are more drawings I was doing. Um anyway, they're just kind of they were just on my computer, so I thought I'd put them in. Um, but you can see they're very like anatomy focused. I don't know if that's obvious, but it's obvious to me. Like I'm not thinking much about how to design these or make them look aesthetic. Um, I am a little bit, I guess I'm, I'm like on the one on the left. I'm kind of blocking out this whole, this whole left section. I'm just like, this is, this is, there's no, I'm just getting rid of the eye because it's in shadow, which is like artistic choice. But most of it is like, feels like it's me just trying to get on top of anatomy a little bit which is really useful but anyway this is why i was so frustrated with painting because i was like i understand heads i get how they work i get how anatomy works but i just can't paint yeah so th this is what i was doing for the whole month just just like this is before that that cynics thing where i actually figured out but i was just like just rowing my head against the wall and just creating these muddy these muddy, weird, mud people. I don't really know how to describe them. Um, but you can see, like, I, I, I'm thinking, like, this nose is, is 3D. Like, I, you know, I'm thinking about the anatomy. Like, the, oh, the, the bottom bit is in shadow and it's like a wedge. But I just was struggling with, like, colour. Like, I still, you know, colour's just difficult. But you can see, I'm thinking, like, oh, the nose should be redder because, um because it has like blood vessels in it or whatever um but it's so like not subtle like i'm just like okay well then the nose is red right and then it just messes up all the values of all everything else like nothing goes together it's the same here i'm like oh there is light on the forehead therefore it needs to be lighter than the other areas of the forehead um but i'm not really thinking it's just it's not subtle enough it's just i that that's all so it just it looks really weird um and then there's also like stuff like these eyes there's no anatomy really here so it's weird i have like kind of nose anatomy and then other bits that are just not like that but but which is fine but it's not on purpose um which is why it's just chaos and just i think i was just struggling with color so much like this just such a muddy a muddy color thing and again um if, if you're in the same place just keep going um I guess but also just try and be more subtle with everything that's why this looks so horrendous it's because i'm like oh this there's a shadow under the nose but i'm just i'm just exaggerating it too much um 
so it just looks really weird like it draws weight like it doesn't look like a shadow it's like oh has he got a sharpie on his or like a weird mustache I, I don't know anyway i'm gonna try and get through this so i'm spending ages but th this was a very important month to my artist development so that's all put some bounce light in look at that um another muddy a muddy face this is also from Mid Hundred Heads. I, this was so difficult because of all the bounce light and stuff. I just had such a poor grasp of light. Um, but it's a bit better than the other one. Oh yeah, I was doing this stuff as well. This stuff was really useful. Um, again, I copied this from Cynix. Um, like, you guys are lucky now. He's got a he's got a video where he just talks about um, how to like digital painting for beginners it's one of those ones I think where he just talks about um the first step of painting is just simplifying stuff into like two values or whatever um but I didn't have that video at the time so I just copied like one of his Instagram posts um he did he just did a couple portraits like this um and I just copied it so you guys are lucky basically you have I had to actually figure that out on my own um now you've got a video about it but you know so this is like that's what all the uh the older artists to me they always say like oh you guys are so lucky with your youtube we had to uh don't know like um dredge up little posts on forums to like get a slight hint about what to do to be honest i i i, I straight up don't think i would be into art if like i was um if i tried doing this 10 years ago like i, I don't think i would be into art without like youtube to be honest, especially like Cynix's stuff and Marco Bucci's stuff. Um, I just, I, 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 I don't know. It's crazy that artists just figure stuff out on their own. Um, I'm not sure if this is a study or not, to be honest. But anyway, this is definitely in my, that this is like, sorry, I'm going back very quickly. This is after this. So this is like me copying Cynix's stuff stroke for stroke. And then this is either a study or, or not. Um, but you can see, like, uh, to me anyway, it's obvious. There's there's a lot of improvement. It's way more simplified, um, just less chaotic, both in terms of color and like my shapes are just more defined. Um, like it's something had really sunk in, which was cool. Because most of my art, I don't really feel like I get those before and after level up moments. This again is a study um, of uh, Ahmed. Aldori thing. I think parts of this are traced like not I, I think what happened is I tried doing it on my own and then my proportions were just really off and then I like fixed them. Like this nose feels too good for where I was at currently. Um and but and, and this is a study of one of his pieces basically. And like probably more than a study. A lot of it's probably like semi traced, I, I imagine. But um but yeah, you can just see like my art improved like not my art but like my my understanding of painting you can really see it like i'm figuring it out here after just so many annoying ones this is another cynic study um but yeah again i like i i mean i could talk about my the in, impact cynics had on my art for like a whole video um but he's definitely my like number one kind of inspiration or whatever um but just having, and this is why I'm making this video to be honest, is um, just having kind of transparent art resources, which are that they're not trying to like hide how they make stuff. Um, and that, that you know, p p basically p painters painting and talking about exactly what they're doing and why, is just like invaluable, I think. Um, so that's why I'm going through every single piece of digital art rather than just trying to like smush it into a 10 minute video that probably get more views. Um, because like it's important um like that's the only that's the i mean i like cynics art but the the main reason i got into it, got into it in the first place is just i was like oh he is showing me how to do this i can learn from this rather than like trying to obscure the the process or whatever um anyway but yeah you can see that i've had a big level up um in terms of just my painting if you compare it to the mod people um this is me getting my confidence destroyed after having my level up because it's uh I was, it's my my brother's birthday's in june 
and this is I try and do a portrait of him. And it's actually some some bits are okay, um, but again, when you're trying to do portraits of like family members, like it just um, he, I mean I know what he looks like so well, and it's it's not this, so I just gave up on it. But happy birthday, Chris, if you're watching. Um, nearly tried to paint you, but I gave up. But yeah, this is like you see what I mean. Like this is and this isn't a um. You know, like stuff like this or this. This is me studying artists, right? Um, after getting through a bit of a wall. But this is like I'm interpreting a reference, and it's like some stuff of this is really nice. Look at these, these nice juicy lips. Mwah. Um, sorry, Chris. It's a nice nose. Like it's like a simple, simple nose. The eyes are not very good, etc. But anyway, um, so yeah, June was a a big month for for me um i really broke through a painting barrier and it was exciting because i just was like oh my god i can paint now and what i don't understand what's happening because some of these i definitely didn't see like why did it stop here i think oh i think i haven't figured it out yeah anyway this is um this is a my dnd character actually i was going to do a dnd illustration i think i was playing i got into like uh because it's during covid obviously I started playing D&D for the first time, actually. Um, but I gave up on it because it was too difficult. And I, I, it's just it's still something I still struggle with, but just finishing pieces of art. Anyway, as it's not in order, we're back to the mud people. Um, but you can see just no confidence, like no... Everything's just a lost soft edge because I'm just... I, I'm too scared to put in... To be like, hey, this is where the barrier of the mouth is. I'd rather just kind of leave it blurry. And then I don't have to. So anyway. Top left is uh, Ahmed uh, Eldori thing again. Um, I, I just, I still love his portraits. They're so nice. But I, his, I just, I don't know. I wanted to just uh, learn how to make pretty girls. Because I feel like my art is not pretty. As you can see. Um, but yeah, good study. This is in the, this is part of the hundred heads thing. Um, but yeah, this is, because even like this, some of this is actually okay. Like it's not, it's not too bad, especially anything that's not the face. <laughs> um, but I, I was just so scared to, I couldn't go further than this. This was about like, I, I, when I had to actually start making decisions about where planes were or stuff like that, I, I couldn't do it. So it was difficult. More muddy, muddy faces. Uh, this is like a illustration. I guess I think this was like inspired by that angel painting I did. I can't remember what this was for. It was definitely for like some kind of competition thing online. It was for like a clothing brand. I think they wanted like a logo or something. Anyway, I can't remember what it was. It was like I wanted it to be like a like an angel who got her hair like caught in her halo or something i don't remember oh there you go but again um this took ages i was struggling a lot um this is just some of the meds hundred heads uh just me trying to draw stuff paint stuff i don't know this is yeah more of that i think i posted this stuff on instagram actually got more info um but yeah some, some of these are right i like this this one i, I quite like like some aspects of it because it's it's well designed like i like the the ratio of the like the detail in this eye compared to just nothing in the most of the face is nice um I, yeah i think some so, this stuff that looks like this like this is a study and then this is um Probably me trying to draw from imagination. I was always trying that, again, inspired by cynics. And also just everyone wants to do that. You know, it's cool to draw from imagination. But, you know, there's just always such a huge gulf. Um, this is the epitome of my struggling with painting phase. It was just so difficult. I don't know. This might have been from imagination because the colours are a bit crazy. I imagine it's from imagination. But most of these, most of these are like studies. Like this, I think this is probably a study. But just, I couldn't do it. 
this is a study. I can't remember who though. Huh. Is this a study? I think they're like some animator or something. But um, I just I did it one day. I think this is when uh, Final Fantasy VII got re-released. Um, but I thought it was cool. And uh, yeah, I just I'm into like. Uh, like I don't even I never played a Final Fantasy game to be honest, but I I just um I liked it and I like I think armor is just something I'm into for whatever reason. Anyway, that was June. Sorry, that was a long one. I just it was an important one. July. Um, this is I was watching a cynics like one of his paint exploration streams or something like he's I think he's got a 24 hour paint exploration and he drew this like rusty rusty spaceship and then I kind of just copied it but with a much worse design and much worse rendering much worse everything um but it's fine you've got to do this stuff to build up your confidence you know um but yeah my point is to do this and then eventually you need to stop doing it and figure out what you actually want to paint and also solve your own problems um like if i was going from scratch being like hmm i want to make a rusty spaceship what would that look like rather than seeing someone being like oh that looks like a cool rusty spaceship i want to do that um you just it's important for your artistic development and your confidence and just your yeah just your development as an artist really anyway i was really proud of this when i did it but again um i mean it's just not that good and also i just copied a lot of it Oh, this is um, prep for uh, Proco. Oh, I can't remember it. Anyway, Proco is doing like a, a monthly challenge thing. I think it was to do with like, I guess that's why I was drawing a spaceship. Actually, it makes sense. Uh, I was, I remember doing a, um, it was like Cynic, Cynics was doing a collab thing with Proco, which I was excited because I'm a big Cynics fan. Um, and then I spent like a week working on, um, working on like both landscape stuff so i wanted to I, i'll show you the finish this is why i finished it. this is the finished image but it was like it was draw a scene depicting alien life like making contact with humans or whatever and then i was reading this comic at the time which i wish i could remember its name um but it had a, a premise of like aliens uh making contact with like some kind of like small uh tribe tribal tribal island or whatever but it was like sci-fi anyway so it's kind of it's kind of inspired by that i guess like because the weapon she's holding is meant to look vaguely sci-fi and it's like she's got i guess i was like how do i make this woman look sci-fi i guess she has headphones and then this banana thing i guess is just from um i'm, I'm guessing i think this is just because i was like in the meds hundred heads there was a couple like african tribe portraits and they had like they had like these dangly banana things, which I thought were cool. So it's just a mishmash of that. Anyway, um, but this is my finished image. Um, I would never really painted industrial design stuff. Or, sorry, I'd never done any industrial design stuff or landscape stuff. So I was kind of learning how to do both of them in a week. Um, so having said that, it's, it's, it's pretty good, to be honest. Um, like... But there's just, you know, just a weird composition. And um, it's just, I, I mean, I'll show you in a minute, but I spent so long working on, like, spaceship designs, like, what, learning how to draw spaceships. And actually, I made some cool designs that, like, were good. Not good, but, like, you know, kind of kind of interesting or whatever. Um, and then I just ended up going with the worst possible design. For the actual illustration because i guess i realized i had to also paint it and i was like i can't paint a complex design i'm just going to make a triangle with a thing on top um but yeah uh i remember watching the uh the cynics like reviewing the submissions for this on proko's channel and just like my heart was like racing i was so nervous it's like oh he's gonna he's gonna comment on my art i'm gonna get critique um and then he uh he didn't even it wasn't even in like the um the runners up or anything because it just was not like they were just better pieces basically um but i was just 
I was like, oh, I, I, I don't know. I got my hopes up, I guess. Um, but it's fine. But that happens a lot in art. But it's, you know, you, you like, because when you're making an idea like this, you have to believe that it's good. You have to put your, you have to be like, oh, this is really cool. Um, and some bits of this are cool, I guess. Like, she's got a cool pose, actually. I like, she looks kind of scared. Um, but then everything else, because it's, like I said, it's my first time doing a landscape, really. Um, so it's just not going to be that great. Anyway, and there's like this mothership in the background. I remember learning about, um, God, what's it even called? Uh, atmospheric perspective. So that things far away kind of get lighter as they get covered by like the atmosphere. And I was like, oh, I'm going to make this the same, nearly the same value as the sky. And then it will look really cool. So yeah, it's cool. You know, like I, I, I tried doing new things. Anyway, you're now going to see me taking my first foray into design, I guess. And I document, I, I put this all on my Instagram, actually. I remember uh, doing that. So this is landscape stuff. This is, um, oh, there was from a, there was a good YouTube video by um, that Magic the Gathering artist that got cancelled. <laughs> I forgot his name, um, but I recommend his, uh, his YouTube video that's like i don't know but basically he just it was just about splitting landscapes into three values that was the whole premise of his video so like uh being like this is the light area this is the medium area this is the dark area and then only within those sections very subtly messing around with values um which i didn't know at the time but was really good advice and it's like it's, it's a good way to like, basically when you're a noob, it's a good way to cheat yourself into making things look more finished. And um, like this, this painting up here looks just kind of like finished in a weird way, just because my values are correct. Um, but then as you get better at art, you realize, oh, that is like 90% of all art. It's just, um, just value decisions. Um, anyway, these are some, these are some, uh, silhouettes of spaceships. I was, I was doing big, medium, small designs. So like the yellow is the big, blue is medium, red is small. Um, this is fun actually. I enjoyed, I enjoyed doodling spaceships. I should do it more. I just draw mech stuff now, but I don't know. What, like spaceships are fun actually. It's fun. Like if you haven't given um, industrial design a go, I recommend it because it, um, it you're just it, it's kind of counterintuitive because before I did this, I was like, oh no, I need to learn perspective and I need to learn how thrusters like what is a thruster and like what is a cockpit and like how do ships work and are they based on real life aircraft but really industrial design is one of the most kind of um free parts of like free i don't have to describe it but you can express yourself so freely through mechanical design because it's just nonsense like even the best artists who are doing it like you just draw crazy stuff like it doesn't you don't need to have it make sense kind of like and then anatomically if that makes any sense like you just draw cool shapes um and it's it's very freeing and i recommend it especially if you've if you've got if you're interested in doing it and you're like oh but i'm not ready um just just go crazy with it and just focus on shapes and um and design uh, this is a uh, Hurley from Lost. That's a watch watchman watchman, because um, I was into both at the time, and I still like both very much. Big Damon Lindelof fan, um, and he's he's eating some McDonald's, I guess, because that was that was his whole character on Lost. He's fat. It's funny. That's the premise of Lost. <laughs> no, um, but there was a lot of fat tricks. But no, he's a, I like Hurley, cool character. Um, and yeah, and I, this is cool because this is like very much my own, own design, which is why it's so chaotic, like the, the drawing style. And this is after me did like erasing lots of the drawing. Um, anyway, yeah, cool. I should do more character design. I should do more spaceships. That's what I'm learning because I had fun with both. Um, this is me figuring out my composition for that, like, 
finished painting I did of the alien invasion, more of that. Getting into the weeds, this is from that YouTube video. What's that? I forgot what that guy's called, but I think you... I'll, I'll link it somewhere if I can be bothered. Um, but yeah, the guy, uh, the guy's not a good guy, I don't think. But you can still learn from him. Um, just don't buy his course. Or do. It's up to you and your ethics. Uh, anyway, uh, more silhouette stuff. First time I really started thinking about silhouettes. And yeah, that's another good reason to do mechanical design stuff because it just really is another world. Like you start thinking about silhouettes and shapes and stuff. Uh, what was this for? <laughs> uh, it's Marshall. I think I I was I took like a a Marshall uh, Bridgman course um, around somewhere at this time. Where I was trying to learn about anatomy. I guess it was for that. And then I ended up being the first person to make a Discord server and like link it in the in the chat, like. And then I ended up just being the head of the Discord server of like a hundred plus people, and I like had no interest in moderating a Discord at all. But it's just because I happened to make the link anyway. Whatever. Um, too much responsibility for me. Cool. So August, this is is this for Chroma Core? Is that what this is? Is this the first ever Chroma Core? Yeah, it is um so oh. uh, i'm gonna get back to this but just remember this um because this is a uh, it was for like some chroma core thing and i i i still don't like this and and um i really disliked it at the time because it's just i think it was one of those things it was a bit like my thing with painting where i feel like i understood the principles of design better than i could actually do them like my it's just really like these shapes are just really boring like and just it's not a good I, I i just kind of knew i could do better than this but when it came down to it this is actually what came out and i was very frustrated with myself um which was not very helpful to anyone um anyway but yeah this is for a chroma core i think it was like some anyway some chroma core thing um, this, I think, was, I was really into, uh, what's that guy called? Rad, Rad. I remember he's, like, at Radist, but I don't remember his actual name. Anyway, he, um, I was really into his designs, and I was watching one of his streams where he, like, sh he was showing some sketchbook stuff where he, like, was doing some, uh, design stuff to do with chess pieces. And I think this is me trying to do my own version. Like one of these is a pawn, I guess. I think this is the rook. I remember. I was like, oh, like basically just taking um, the shape design of chess and turning it into like characters I thought was cool at the time. Um, I think this is Yaz. It's got to be Yaz, surely. Anyway. This is from, uh, what's it called? Painting with Confidence by um what's he called anthony jones um i think it's like a little uh i think it was like a tenor or something like i bought um a gum road tutorial and i so um i recommend it because it taught me one like i learned one really 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 useful thing from it but if you've already learned this then i don't know if i recommend it um because you can learn this elsewhere but I just learned um, basically just that one shape should be one value. So this nose is just, it's the same value. Or this eye, uh, eye ball, I guess. I don't know what you call this. Eye, eyelid. <laughs> the eyelid is one value. And, you know, if you squint at it, it's the same value. But obviously there's a second value here. Um, but from far away, it's not too different in value that it like becomes a different object, if that makes sense. Anyway, that I, I remember learning that lesson like in this painting. Um because it just stops stuff being so chaotic, basically. Um and also I think he gives you some brushes. So if you want his brushes, go for it. Just noodling around. Um cool. This is from Chromacore. This is like a bug sword, I think. Actually, I think it's pretty cool to be honest. Um I like the uh I don't really like the 
uh, the actual blade. But I like the handle. I think it's kind of cool. And I like, I think I was, um, I don't know. I think I was doing something with my art style to do. I, I need to find you. I'll, I'll probably link to the, uh, I'll put a photo up of um, the artist I was talking about. But I was really like enamored with his um, art style at the time. And um, I, I can see it basically. I, I, for this chroma core, I think it was how I was drawing. I think this is probably for chroma core, like some idea that I gave up on. I don't know what this is. Um, uh, I think this might have been some preliminary studies for that chess idea, maybe. Like, because I'm trying to draw like knights and armor. I this is a something. I like this top right one. Um, it's nice. Got a nice energy to it. Like, the facial features are fun, and then like this big open space. Nice. I, I like this one. Um, some of these are alright actually. Um, yeah. Don't know what this is. Some abstract stuff. I guess. Me trying to draw my other brother. I guess is it August? Because I, I think what happens I with with anything to do with my family members, it's always like, oh, it's their birthday. I don't know what to get them. I'll try and do a nice painting of them. At least that's what I used to think back then. Um, I probably wouldn't do that anymore. But um, I gave up very quickly, <laughs> as you can see. Um, I don't know what this is. It says confidence. Be confident, guys. Oh, yeah, this is my um, submission to Chroma. This is the first ever Chroma Core, I think. So Chroma Core is like this art competition that Cynics runs about like a, a school where they learn to pilot mechs. Um, and you have to draw your cadet, and then um, I remember seeing, this is the first year that people ever did it, I remember seeing the submissions come in, and basically lots of them were just way better than mine, and I knew this, um, and I really wanted to like get in the competition, um, and I remember being like, okay, well I can't draw as well as these guys, so I can be more creative, and then I was like, I'm going to include a mech from the Mech Academy in my drawing. And that was basically this whole idea. And it's like, I guess it's a coffee mech. It's got like a jar. I don't know why it's a jar instead of like, anyway, whatever. It's just holding a jar of coffee. Um, this, is, this is the thing. I, I, I feel like the worse you are at design and just like less practiced you are with this stuff. I get so, I just was so literal with like my designs. I'm like, this is a mech that makes coffee. How do I do that? I draw a mech and then I draw a jar of coffee. Um, but it, it gets the idea across. Um, and yeah, and this, the, the, my line style is 100% just... Um... Oh, it's from... Sorry, the guy's called Ryan Pallet. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Ryan Pallet. It's just... I, I just stole his... Uh, I was trying to copy his line style because I thought it was pretty. Um, like the how he uses low opacity ones. Anyway, it's nice. Anyway, it's not a very good drawing, to be honest. Um, and yeah, my big problem, and it's still my big problem, is because I don't finish pieces enough. Like, this is me trying to finish a piece. I, I just neglected composition so much. I just didn't think it was something I needed to learn for some reason. Um, and then whenever I would, you know, because you, you kind of don't need to learn composition as much if you're just kind of studying. Like, if you're just drawing portraits all the time, it, obviously it's really important. Um, but if you're just studying and you're like, I don't care about how this looks as a finished piece. I'm just trying to learn how to paint better, how anatomy works. Then you can just really neglect composition. And then it means that when you actually have to make a finished piece like this, you, my brain couldn't get my head around like interesting compositions. Like th these should be overlapping in some way because it feels so flat otherwise, which is fine, but it wasn't on purpose. Um, so instead you just have like these awkward compositions where it's just like, it's like how a kid draws, you know, like you draw a sun up here and then you draw the house and you draw the people like that. None of the things are overlapping in like a 3D interesting way or like an interesting a range of shapes. It's just like, oh, there's space at the top left. I'll draw my mech there. Then I'll draw my person at the bottom right because that's where the space is. I guess the copies should go between them. But like, you know, I could have done this in a much more exciting way. Anyway, that's just me saying... um don't neglect your composition. Yeah, so that's why I said I get back to this one. Um, 
because I'd, I'd drawn some spaceships, but I'd never drawn a mech before. That's my, that's my first ever mech, I think. And then I, I, I love this artist, but I forget his name. Um, anyway, I studied. This is me. I did a quick study and I was like, hey, I can do this. It's just empty shapes with a bunch of nonsense, which basically, even though I'm better at art now, that is basically how you draw, draw mechs. Um, but he has nicer shapes and stuff. Um, so I studied this and I tried to draw the mech and I just, I think that's why I was disappointed because I was like, I was quite happy with my study, like, and then my actual drawing didn't work. What does this say? It says, switch brush for perp. I don't know what that says. It's back to me drawing my chess guys. Mm -hmm. This looks really good. Um, and this is, a uh, this is, a. Uh, Ryan palette study. Um, so it's not my own art. Big, medium, small. Yeah, I just, I was, I think it's because, you know, like the month before this, I've just got into that, um, like Cynix's mech, just mech world, mechanical design. And it just kind of, uh, I've gone down the rabbit hole of just like understanding design. And then I ran into Ryan Pallet stuff and I was just like, this is so cool. Like his, cause it's just pure design, you know, like his stuff. He, you know, it, it was, uh, it was helpful for my art, but this is me studying. I might even be tracing cause this is like really good for my back then. Anyway, but just even, I remember just being amazed that like, this is like a fireball and just how much thought and care he put into like, this is curved. This is angular, and just all the in little intricacies of his tiny shapes. Like I just, I, I thought it was cool. Anyway, oh, I think that's the end of that month. Um, yes. So, Jean, I got really into painting, and these months I got really into design. I don't remember what happened this month. Uh, I think this cat equals butt is like some cynics thing. <laughs> um, I think uh, I'm just, I remember really like, maybe I was feeling burnt out or something. I kind of was feeling very aimless and struggling uh, with my art. I'm not sure why. But I guess, uh, again, it comes back to the problem of just like the only time I would make art that was finished was for competitions like for Chroma Core or for that Marco Bucci thing or for the Cynics Broker thing. I never really made art like for myself or whatever. And it meant that when there's no, you know, when there's no competitions, I just didn't know what to draw. So I would just kind of draw nonsense. And this is an ongoing problem, um, like to this day for me. <laughs> Maybe this is the agony I was feeling. I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's just some figure drawing. Um, I mean, yeah, I just need to, uh, I just wasn't like pushing myself and I still don't like, um, with these hands, like, I, I don't know. I know more about hands than I was presenting in the image. I do a lot of abstract stuff. I don't know why. I think maybe it's just, maybe it's just me trying to design stuff for imagination. Because to me, this now, because I do a lot of abstract stuff now, this feels like I was doing abstract stuff just for fun. But I don't think I was back then. I think this is like I was trying to design like a mech or something. I think that's what this is. But just really struggling with it. Yeah, I think I was, yeah. Like, you see, this is like someone riding on a little mech, maybe. Um, but yeah, where I because I, I, I struggle with perspective and thinking in 3D. So many of my um, mech stuff is just very loose and organic feeling, which is fine. But um, it just like, I don't know, my, my my early mech stuff always just looks like weird organic scribbles. It doesn't really look like mech stuff. Cool. So I think in October, I think I got back into um, wanting to finish the uh, Meds 100 Heads thing. Like that was my, because like I said, I didn't really know what I wanted to draw. and. So I was like, I'm just going to, like, meds 100 heads, that's going to be my thing. Um, so, yeah, lots of portraits. I need to do some landscapes. True, you do still need to do some landscapes, Vinny. 
Um, this is cool. It's a kind of designy thing. It doesn't really look like my art. To be honest, I wonder if this is. Hmm. It doesn't look like my art, but um, I always end up drawing knights, so it probably is my art. Um, oh, is this? Yeah, sorry, I forgot to say, but at some point I transitioned to Photoshop um, a bit more. Like, most of... I, I stopped really using Procreate in 2020. Um, but I remember this month... I, this painting was really me trying to get to grips with Photoshop a lot. Like, that's what this month was, because I felt like I'd internalised a little bit of painting, but I was still struggling with Photoshop, because I started learning on Procreate. Um, just like... Uh, you know what I was saying earlier about things, one one value, one shape. This isn't that. It's like just really muddy and loads of strokes everywhere. Um, so, yeah, it's another month of lots of improvement, I would say. So, again, Med's 100 Heads, it's really good. Um, some of this is nice. Like, on their nose, I've got these big, big strokes. Um... Yeah, I'm getting there. Uh, Yaz uh, really likes this one, actually. And I like it too. It's, it has a lot of um, style, I guess. Just like, I don't know. It has a nice, uh, I don't know what the word is. It's like eye, eye catching. It's, it feels like it has like a lot of presence to it for whatever reason. And I think um, this was kind of the beginning of me finding my painting style or at least experimenting with my painting style um in a lot of these it's just very loose and there's still something i do but um trying to balance looseness with making it look not chaotic um that's a journey that takes me several years and i'm still on it this is a uh, studying Cynix's hair. I, oh yeah, I, I was really struggling with hair actually because again I'd spent so long doing anatomy, but then hair was just a I was just a nightmare. I just didn't know how to do it. Um. So yeah, studying Cynix's hair video. Um. I feel like these were from Imagination. This is a another Ahmed Aldori thing. Um, and yeah, it's good, to, you know, like, I know this, this is like, I copy a lot of Cynics and stuff, but it was good for me to have another influence. I don't know. And I, and I know they're just both, I was just like, oh, who are the two art YouTubers who I can uh, copy? But um, it's good to have multiple influences on your art, you know, like, um, even though two, I kind of had two main ones, especially for portraits. And to this day, they're still my biggest kind of like portrait in suppose but it's, it's good if you're someone who just finds yourself copying one artist all the time it's good to branch out a bit um anyway cool this is a cool page whenever you know whenever you see a page and you've got all these notes going on little diagrams it's like you're probably doing good like you're internalizing you, you, you know you're, you're studying stuff but yeah i'm pretty sure so obviously these two are not mine these are things i was using to help I think these two are from uh, imagination. So again, I was, I was, I mean, it's just hard to draw from imagination. Um, I remember being annoyed that my the skin color on this was just like this gray alien. Um. Anyway, more of these these um. These like two or three value study things. Um. This this is a really good exercise. Actually, I recommend it. I kind of didn't really know why I was doing it, to be honest. I kind of was just like, oh, that seems cool. Like, it feels like it will build confidence in my shapes. And it did. But I think the pro I, I got a lot out of these, but I think I was kind of viewing them as their own just exercise rather than now that I'm a bit better at art. I kind of understand it as like, oh, this is how you, this is actually just 50% of painting. It's just like, this part like trying to uh design an interesting ratio of light to dark um i didn't really realize that this this is kind of you know if you were thinking of it as a holistic part of painting this could be the start of a painting rather than just like oh this is its own design exercise um 
and I, I've started doing similar stuff recently, basically, but like kind of at the beginning of my paintings. Um, but yeah, it's a good exercise. And also, if you it it will if you see other people doing it, like if 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 you see art like this and you you try and copy it, it really gives you an appreciation for like kind of decision making. Like I I didn't haven't done a great job, but the um, you know I've just completely lost this edge because I'm like oh there's light hitting this hair and it's you know like we as you know we 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 know that there's 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 hair here you know we, we know what this means but i can represent it in an artistic way rather than just copying what i see um it's it's really good for that stuff and um, well uh you can understand like how other artists do it cool art more like fart true it's more med head stuff still doing my red noses this is a uh, this, this lasts for a while <laughs> this lasts for a very long time because I was just like, yeah, noses are red. You put red in noses. Um, but anyway. More hair studying, I think. This is, um, I remember I couldn't sleep when I drew this. Like I had work or something the next day, but I just couldn't sleep. And I got up at like 2 or 3 a.m. And I never do this, but I uh, just sat down and started drawing um, this for some reason. It's um this is like fan art of um Naomi someone from uh Blazeball. I'm not even gonna go into what Blazeball is, but feel free to look it up. Um Oh, and this is oh who is this? This is um oh I, I don't know who they are. This is inspired by um an artist that I was really into at the time. Um But yeah, that's what I mean. It's you know, like I know I, I I'm a huge I just copy cynics all the time. But um you it's really good to like branch out and try and find just find artists that you like um because your style and your interests are just never i think when when you start art i was always like oh i want to be able to paint like cynics or like ahmed um but then after a certain point you're kind of like oh why would i do that like that's i think because when when i started i just wanted to get good whatever that meant and I was like, if I can paint like these people, I am good at art. Um, but instead, kind of finding different, finding different artists that I like, and also developing my own method of doing things, um, is how you find your own style and what you actually like doing. Because it's never going to be one to one the same as another artist, which is what's cool about art. You know that we're we're all unique people. Um, yeah, some of this stuff's cool. I think a lot of it, I think I could have got rid of this line, this is what I do now, and I'd get rid of this line, because it's kind of me, I'm relying too much on what I know, I'm trying to be like, there's a nose here, rather than just, um, like, trying to show light on form, um, but yeah, it's cool, I like this one, um, I've got the red nose again, this, you can see I'm really struggling with hair on this one, I think. Um, and just generally, like, Photoshop was difficult. Oh, what is this for? Oh, I think, I, I think this is, um, I think I drew this, like, in 2019, actually, is what this is. It's, it's for my, uh, Keanu Reeves comic thing I was going to make for my girlfriend. More of this stuff. No malware bites. Thanks. Um... But yeah, you can see like I'm starting. It's 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 helping me think about stuff. In terms of shapes, like the silhouette of the hair is very like thought out a little bit. Like it's not just a straight line down. It's like oh, I want this cool. I don't know. I'm, I'm, it's helping me think about shapes basically, which is very important. Um, I like the lips on this one actually. They're really nice. Um, I feel like I can't draw lips this well anymore. Um, I actually really like this one. Um. Yeah, I don't know, it's interesting. Cool. Um, yeah, still just, still doing my 100 heads. This, um, yeah, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm just, I'm learning to paint. Um, but just so much messiness, you know. And I, I back then I just thought that I was, it was cool and part of my style. And it still is cool and part of my style. 
but I just, it, it wasn't very intentional, my messiness. Um, this was, um, oh, now I remember why I chose October to deal with this or whatever month this is. Um, it's cause, uh, it's my partner's birthday in late October. And then also I have myself November 1st self portrait thing that Cynix does. Um, so I was like, I was like desperate. I was like, I need to learn how to draw people cause I'm going to be embarrassed. And then I, I wanted to draw her for her birthday. And it's actually, it's actually a level up. Like this is better than all my other paintings before this point in terms of, in terms of like doing a portrait from a reference. Like there's a lot of, a lot of level up stuff basically where I'm just, I've simplified lots of aspects of it and blah blah anyway but it, it doesn't look like my doesn't look like my girlfriend so um yeah i remember just saying this like sorry it doesn't look like you but i tried to paint you um and yeah i think this is i i messed around with um post-processing effects for the first time like this is chromatic aberration in here like what they do in spider-verse um where you put lots of colored noise in and then you split the layers and then you drag the layers slightly apart and then the colored noise like pops through um so yeah that was fun anyway i i don't like this painting but it's 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 purely because it doesn't look like my girlfriend like i failed at my goal i guess which was to paint my girlfriend um but whatever i'm gonna start with this because this is uh related so this is the the next months um i did my first ever like november 1st self-portrait um and I, again i remember just like feeling like this they, they were just big breakthroughs i guess if you compare to where i was in june with all the muddy faces um and lots of people like this one actually like i don't know why um i don't like it very much but that's whatever I just don't I, I don't know I'm just not someone who like likes their finished art very much I just enjoy painting and some of it I like um I quite like this side of the this this shadow side of the face actually because uh like compared to this this looks very much like like a kid drawing where it's like oh there's an eye here I'm gonna draw an eye but this is like oh this is this is light on form it is very painterly this side for whatever reason um and yeah still got my red red nose uh <laughs> i just had my headphones on which is i guess accurate um and then the beginning of many years of struggling to paint facial hair is here and i have very red lips and i don't know like this is not a piece of clothing that i own so i'm a bit confused i just kind of i was like what what should i wear um yeah, and my brother actually um, put those two. Uh, the the I've I've got a mug of that portrait of my girlfriend and the portrait of me, which is a nice gift actually. Like he got it for me as a Christmas present or something. Um, but I I hate them because <laughs> I'm I, I'm cursed to look at um, art that I just don't like basically, and while I drink my tea. And also, if guests come around, then they have a... Anyway, whatever. I should be more proud of my art. But um, it's just how it goes, I think, when you're an artist. Anyway, finishing my 100 heads. I was just really in... Um, I was just levelling up like crazy. I remember I had, like, a week or two off work, actually, when I was painting these. And I just, like... I was just devouring, um, like, YouTube stuff about painting and also just painting constantly. Like, I think I did all of these in the same day, which is, like, a lot. Um... And I, I still like this. It's probably my favourite painting from that era because um, it, well, it just has a lot of personality to it. And also it, I feel like the, the skin is like, you can see the level ups that I had where like things are just so much more simplified now. Um, like I, I'm like, oh, I, 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 know, an, I, I know anatomy, so I'm going to do the anatomy of the face. It's going to be like... Um, accurate and the nose is accurate the mouth is accurate but then the rest i'm just not going to worry about i'm not going to try and defi define every single uh part of it 
and just keep it like kind of clean looking and then um that i like that i uh you know i was struggling with hair i like that i just commit to being like fuck it i do not know how to do hair i'm not even gonna try and i think it looks nice like th this mix of um i guess now i'd, I'd refer to it as like this optical this optical statement like about how like our eyes perceive light on form and then this conceptual s statement about like i know this is hair but this doesn't look like hair like it's a, it's a nice uh balance I, I like this one and i was very proud of it at the time and i guess i still am um and i think this is what i'm going to use to clickbait the thumbnail to be like this is how good i got in one year um and yeah, and the optical conceptual thing, if you know, if that doesn't make any sense or you, you're interested and want to learn more about what I meant by that, Devin Corwin stuff is really good. Um, and that's where I got those phrases from. Cool. Uh, I don't know what that is. More painting. Um, yeah, just really trying to like figure out the forms of faces, which, you know, form is a big part of art. Especially when you're a noob. This is part of my just painting spurt. Um, yeah, I think because I posted this on Instagram or something, I was just really proud of it. This I saw actually when I was uh, going through my, like when I was going through my paintings, um, just to like organize them for this video. And I really like this actually. It's probably my favorite um, drawing from this era. But I, I, I don't know if it's a study. I feel like it might be. I don't know. If anyone knows if this is a study, let me know. But if it isn't, then I'm um I'm very impressed with myself. Like the colour harmony is so nice on the skin. Like I feel like I can't. I, I don't think I had the understanding of colour to do this like at the time, so that's why I'm confused. But I think it's really nice. Um and you can see this is I guess this is how I was thinking. Like you can see um like above the mouth i've got this kind of big blue light area but then blending it down into a more uh, smooth smooth way basically because i think this is this goes for like any kind of art learning but you always just like like you spend so long putting in so much effort being like i need i'm i've learned oh this cheekbone faces up this part of the mouth faces up this part on the chin faces up and this is where light goes and you want to like show off your knowledge almost like you're a like you're a library or something instead of an artist like you just want to flex like oh i know the planes of the face but then it always comes down to like you have to then simplify all that information and synthesize it into like an actual piece of art because you can't just show what, like this is actually this, this looks cool but uh, anyway i don't know if that makes any sense but i, I art is just a constant process of like learning information struggling to learn information um and then finally actually understanding it and then immediately having to get rid of like not get rid of it but be really subtle about it um i find this is me struggling i think this is a map crunch study just struggling with landscape stuff this is a i think it's a krenz krenz kushar krenz crusher i forgot what he's called um painting Marco Bucci talks about it in one of his color 10 minutes to better painting videos, which are phenomenal. Um, like the best, the best resource on painting, I think. Um, at least best free resource on painting on the internet is like, I would just go through his, and this is what I was doing during this period. I'd go through his 10 minutes to better painting and then just spend like a day minimum, probably should do more than a day, should do a week minimum, just applying one of his concepts and into paintings um i like this one actually um i like that i like the shadow on the neck it's cool anyway um yeah if you're on a budget and also you want to learn how to paint like literally everything you need to know about painting is in his 10 minutes to better painting videos it's just like you it takes a long time to actually extract all the knowledge that was for an Instagram post. This was because I was watching. Oh my god, I'm getting dementia. I can't remember the names of anything. Um, oh, I was watching Doro Hidoro on uh, Netflix. Um, and oh, I might buy some Gyoza after this. Actually, I kind of fancy it now. 
anyway i just they make you know like anime food just looks so nice but he's just constantly eating um gyoza and then this is oh i did this on twitch actually when i was a twitch streamer for like a month um and then i wanted to turn it into some weird creepy uh chanji ito inspired thing where it's like someone crawling into gyoza um but yeah this is actually really hard i i struggled getting the transparency right um and then hades came out and i got obsessed with hades art for a while um this is me doing a study and i still am obsessed with hades art it's so good um yep this is uh what is this from this is from like a uh, ahmed aldori um gumroad i think i mean he's got meds map now but back in the day he didn't have meds map um i was really proud of this actually when i did it like obviously it's not accurate like just this 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 uh cheek is just huge compared to this cheek or whatever but i was really happy i felt like i had uh i don't know what the word for it is but color vibrations if that makes any sense just like color my color harmony was kind of nice except my uh huge honking red nose um anyway all part of the learning process more meds map not meds map more meds heads um more meds heads i think instagram post me probably getting bored of doing heads and wanting to do something else but then uh having neglected it coming out not very well it's that guy again um this is uh i got this is like i mean spoilers this, i i was getting really burnt out on um painting portraits and um i was trying to just make them more fun so i um i, I saw my instagram list stuff but i was like oh i'm gonna draw four four like meds heads as uh like the four horse ride horse riders of the apocalypse but they're women or something i don't remember what i was doing um but it's basically because i was just i wanted to it's because i was playing hades <laughs> it's what it was i was like it's so cool um they uh you know what they did to like transform the the gods into um like characters i wanted to do the same and you can see i'm trying to implement a lot of my hades drawing and actually this this actually is um i like a lot of this to be honest just a nice energy to it but it's just very messy um nice colors i feel like i prob actually i don't know i think i probably just copy and pasted the colors because again this is uh better than my understanding of colors even now to be honest these are such nice colors um and yeah i kind of had fun with these but i just like really cringed when i post them on instagram for whatever reason sometimes that happens i think something i struggle with now but just um when i'm when i'm studying when i'm like i'm doing meds map and i'm just posting studies i'm pretty fine doing that but when it comes to posting something that i would call my own work or whatever or like more personal work um i just feel a lot of like shame <laughs> which is not good um so and, and and you can see look i i i as soon as i start posting personal work or trying to do it i just like immediately stop drawing um so this is the end basically um whatever this is some more faces i think these are probably from imagination yeah but this is so i mean i ha i just had a tendency to draw um long-nosed people and i think it's you know like when you draw from imagination especially portraits they always end up not looking like you but because your your brain has just really learned how faces work from staring your own face all the time um they always look a little bit like you so mine always look like vaguely asian but not really like me and i'm wondering it maybe the long nose thing is, is something to do with that um anyway i like this one on the right actually it's nice um cool this is a gen z study gen z is um the hades artist this is one of her paintings uh, but yeah i just got really into it and then this is another one i posted on my instagram um yeah i'm just trying to think about like what caused this to be such a bad experience for me i don't know why i think like like the 
I just wasn't, I mean, they're just very messy and I'm not, I'm not very happy with them as, as paintings, but normally I don't mind posting paintings online if they're not great. But I think it's because like, these are like personal work almost. Um, and then, I mean, you can see, I mean, you just watch, if, if you are watching, you've just watched this video. So you know that I spent so long just studying, just trying to get my head around painting. And I, you know, I did it like, uh, my first year of painting, um, was very successful like i i leveled up so much like to be honest um but then i think i because i'd spent i kind of just had got really uh i just got really um obsessed with just getting better at painting and like just trying to make my portraits look like portraits i kind of neglected um anything else in terms of like my artistic development, like my um, doing personal work of any kind, you know, I just don't do it really. Like even, even th this is like, oh, I'm doing Meds Map. I'm going to make it slightly more personal, but it wasn't my own idea. Um, but basically it just caused a lot of frustration when I would hop back from the mode of like, oh, I'm, st I'm just studying. I'm just studying. It doesn't matter like how good my work is. I'm, I'm just getting better. I'm getting better. And then, um, like applying that to personal work, because for some reason it just doesn't, it just feels like you're more, I, I guess it's, I felt more identified with it. You know, like if I do a crappy drawing of someone, I'm just like, whatever. But if I'm like, I did a crappy drawing of my idea, then it feels like, oh, I don't, it feels like more of an extension of myself or something. Anyway, um, because spoilers, um, I made a lot of progress in the first year, but I'll get around to making the next video. This is the end, by the way. Um, I think this is the end, yeah. I made a lot of progress in the first year, but not working on, like not having strong reasons for doing art, except just to improve, um, really comes to bite me in the butt, as you will see in episode two of Vinny's Digital Painting Diaries. Um, I get, I get really burnt out and kind of quit art for like a year. Um, but yeah, this is a, like my first year of art went really well. Um, I would say, I don't really know. I'm trying to think of advice for my younger self. Um, well done, mainly. I did really well. Like obviously stuff I'd like to do better, like this whole not neglecting personal art and having that be part of my practice um but yeah i think on it honestly the if you want to get good at art and you know you've watched this far for whatever reason um and you're a noob it's just um drawing loads um but also like not being insular like like copy other artists as much as you can and copy loads of different other artists um not just the same ones and then also very important this is the bit that you can surpass me on is um just like make art you're passionate about you know like i follow so many people on instagram and um it's some people i follow who are just like they're not very good at drawing but like i, I they're so good at just like not being self-conscious and just expressing what they're into like they just like make fan art about like weird niche things or whatever and um that's kind of my own personal problem i'm related to art but also related to art it's just um that i struggled to do that but basically if you if you're someone like me who just has got into art and you're just like you're just grinding the fundamentals or whatever i'm gonna put my face up i don't know why um if you're just grinding the fundamentals um like why not treat learning how to be an artist and all the things that come with that so like looking after your health and stretching and eating healthy and like making personal work that you're proud of um why not have that be a fundamental because i feel like the way that art discourse is especially like discourse around like how to learn art online um is it neglects that part a lot i think at least it did when i started i think it's a bit better now um 
or maybe it didn't and i just that's just my own values seeping in anyway um but yeah next i will i'm gonna like i said because i want to try and start doing digital art recaps yearly so i need to catch up so i'm gonna do another video on this if this was interesting please like and subscribe etc thanks for watching i hope this was helpful bye